Hey guys, so today I am recording my get ready with me video. Um, I'm going out to store in Santa Monica. So I just wanted to show you guys what I was going to do. I'm doing a cut crease look. I'm um, actually, I'm not, it's not the same tutorial as this, mainly because I completely forgot to do the introduction. So I just remembered when I was going through my footage, which is why I'm doing it now. But you guys will see how I get the look that hopefully I'll have my thumbnail somewhere. So yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, so first I'm just going to moisturize and I've been using the Olay Active Hydrating Face Cream. I've just been using this the whole time just because like I literally added this flower right next to me hoping that it will kind of take away from all the clutter in the back kitchen. I'm trying to want to go back home. I'm going to try to set up my room so I could just use this on specifically to film. But anyway, so next I'm going to be using the Hourglass primer it's been like one of my favorites i just have a travel size one but it makes such a difference and it's been working a lot better for me so now i'm gonna be taking mark jacobs foundation um i have been using this probably every day since i got it i have a tutorial on how i apply this but i guess you guys will see a little overview Wow, I haven't filmed one of these in so long. I actually <laughs> forgot to bring like my my own little mirror. Um, me and Megan are about to go to Santa Monica to go to some bar because um, she met these guys a couple weeks ago at this other bar and they invited us out because they have tables. So we're just getting that. Should be fun. Okay, I'm gonna move this. It looked nice in the beginning, but it's kind of distracting now. Okay, so after that, I've been using Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer. I've been obsessed with this stuff. Um, people say it's comparable to the NARS, and it honestly is. I might have this in a favorites video, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. Just put that right under my under eye. Then I'm going to first just dab it with my fingers just so it kind of spreads a little bit better. Because I always have a hard time like blending out when it comes to like right under my eye because I don't want to poke my eye out, you know what I mean? Then I just kind of bring it down to the sides of my nose. Okay, and then I will blend it out. So I do actually set my under eye with the powder just because the consistency is different. It's a bit more sticky. So I like to just put that under. I honestly don't only really like the whole baking thing that everyone's been doing because it kind of really makes my skin like really dry really fast. And I just, it just doesn't really feel that nice, personally. So I've been taking La Mercier's translucent powder. Just setting that ever so lightly. But now I'm going to be moving on to the brows. And of course, Anastasia's Dip Brow and Caramel. I honestly have been doing a slightly different method these days just because I kind of like my brows darker because I realize caramel is like really light and it doesn't only really show up in flash photography and it just looks like I don't like got eyebrows so I will show you guys but I'm just gonna be doing my regular I always start out by just outlining the shape And then like with the remaining, I'll just fill it in. And typically it will be a lot more pigmented than this, but I think mine actually dried out a lot, so it doesn't go on as harsh as it typically would when you like 
just get it. If you use this product, you'll know what I'm talking about. So just like that. Then I'm gonna go on to the other side. Okay, so now we are here. And what I like to do now is I take another angled brush like so. This one's from Max 266 um, angled brush. And I'm going to be taking from the Lorac Pearl Matte Palette. Um, I take just like either the chocolate color or the corduroy. Doesn't really matter, like something just darker. I sometimes you even mix them. I don't know. And then I usually start from just like the ends and I'll just like darken that up slightly just so it gives me just like a bit more like definition towards the ends of my brows. Honestly, like Doing brows is like my least favorite part of my makeup process because sometimes I'll have like a really good brow day and then other time it'll be all fucked up so then I have to just like go in with the concealer and it's just just a headache. So Okay. So those are the brows. Um, and now I'm gonna be moving on to my lids. I've been, prime I've been priming my eyes with the um, amount of primer that I have left from this little Urban Decay primer potion that I received from just like another palette. I forget which one it was, but I've been using the crap out of this palette. I love it. Absolutely love. Just gonna put it all there. For today, I think I'm gonna do the scotch tape method. Um, got a little bit of scotch tape. And then put it on the back of your hand just so it doesn't get too sticky. Then just line it up like, like that. From your lower lash line up. I need to pluck my brows. I'm kind of far so you guys cannot really see, but sort of a hot mess right now. I'll do that after I finish everything. Okay, so now I've got our tape on. <laughs> I'm going to be using um, Max uh, Soft Brown Eyeshadow. I love this eyeshadow. I've been obsessed with it. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and then I'm going to just put this all over my crease. I'm just like blending motions. Like so. Okay, so someone tell me. A lot of the times I've been doing, you know, tutorials or things like this, I always zoom up on the eyes. But today I thought I would just try, you know, just kind of just doing it as it is. Tell me if you guys prefer it this way or the other way. I just um just leave it on my tumbler because a lot of you guys do that i don't mind like i feel like a lot of people like tend to think that i ask myself my own questions but i don't even use my tumbler like that so i don't have time because i don't even use it so i don't even know who checks it so not like that really matters but you know just clarifying some things because people are so extra Okay, like that. And then I'm going to take this color right here, Bare, and just put that with the pencil brush like right on my lid. Like not going past my crease. Quote off quote crease because I don't got that. Can you see it like right there? <laughs> Maybe I should do a closer because my eyes are just too small for you guys to just be able to get it. Mm, I'm gonna be day drinking today. I'm going to die. Day drinking makes me so tired. 
But it should be fun. I mean, it's gonna be hot out, so like, you know, a mix of hot and alcohol is just gonna put you to sleep. <laughs> okay. So now that we have that, um, I've been liking to do this like cut crease thing. It's like, I guess it's like a semi-cut crease. I don't really know, but I take the shade burgundy. It's just like a deep, pull-on color with a flat shader brush. And what I like to do, I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer just so you guys can see. I like to start at the end and then where I put that shadow, I'll go over it. Like I'll kind of outline the top. So I'll basically drag that along. See that? Yeah. And then I'll just like blend the edges out like while I'm doing it. So you'll get a color like so. Yep. Sorry, that was just really <laughs> uncomfortable positioning for me. Yeah, so it looks like that. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. I've been liking this technique because it just like makes my eyes look appear a lot wider than they, you know, than they are because it kind of gets that illusion that I have like a deeper crease than, you know, I really do. So I gotta concentrate here and I cannot talk. Okay, yeah, so. We're all nicely blended. Okay, so now what I like to do, I just kind of want like to deepen the crease just a little bit. And I'm going to take Jet Black, which is this black shade. Any black is fine. And then I'm just going to go in the outer corner and just kind of like hit that slightly. Now, time to take the tape off and just gives like a nice straight line that I used to follow for my ow ow. Oh, that hurt. So, I'm using, as you already know, the Kat Von D ink liner. This is my favorite. I actually like this so much better than the tattoo liner. I like the felt tip so much better. I think it just like works a lot better for me. So, we're going to just do a typical um, cat eye. Gonna take a little wrap break. Mm -hmm. I just put turkey, cream de brie, cheese. Uh, it's just brie, just like the cream version it sounds all fancy and shit but it's just a cream version um spinach that's it i've been trying to eat better when i like don't eat out because i've been just eating too much out here it's not okay okay so i'm just gonna prep my eyes for my falsies because you know your girl needs her lashes we see my trusty Colossal mascara in the cat eye. Okay. And now I'm going to take 
that same plum color and put that on the lower lash line just to like make it even. I'm just gonna line that at the ends of my eyes. So I'm like right by where like where my pupil would be. Same thing on the other side. Okay. So now that we're all smoked out, we're gonna just put the mascara on the lower lash line. So when I do this look, I actually think I can just get away with like not wearing my fake lashes just cause like everything kind of looks pretty much bigger and like in place. <laughs> but I like to be a little extra. So I'm gonna wear these. I've been honestly wearing the crap out of them. It's a go, you're crazy. And I need a new pair because they're starting to get like really uncomfortable. Like you know how when you, if you wear falsies, like if you wear them too much, they kind of like start irritating your eyes. Well, that is what's happening with me right now. I'm pretty sure I wore them way over 25 times already. Okay. So while this dry, I'm going to contour. And I'm using Too Faced um, chocolate. Um, I can't say the name, so I'm not going to try. And medium. Just getting a brush. And you already know that contour routine. Bring it up, blend it out, bring it down. I don't know what to wear. Yeah, that's why I'm in this sweatshirt, by the way, guys. Because I don't know what to wear, guys. whatever I have left, just kind of put them on the side of my nose. I could be more precise and get like a brush because I do that sometimes, but I don't feel like doing it. Now I'm going to pop my lashes on. A lot of people use tweezers to put their fakes and I honestly can't do it. I can just do it like freehand. I think it's so much easier. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just do Coralista, which is one of my favorite blushes because it adds also like a highlight and a really, really nice like coral sheen to your face. So, right on the apples and bring it back. Just kind of like warms my face up. I really need to get new highlighter, like a powder highlighter, but I have so many at home that I didn't bring with me, so I don't want to buy a new one, but I might want the glow kit, so we'll see. Okay, so now we're going to do the lippies. Um, I've been actually going to be using a morning coffee lip liner, which is an OG for me. If you guys watch me, you guys know I always just use this lip color. I'm gonna outline like always because my lips are so fucking small. Bro, I like dated this guy. He's like, your lips are really small. I'm like, okay, thanks. He's 
It's like no, but like super small. I'm like, okay. Thank you. Thank you for informing me of what I already know. Okay, and then I'm going to just put, I think I'm just gonna use Kat Von D. I'm gonna use Kat Von D's uh, liquid lipstick and bow and arrow. I don't even know why I did the label because this is the only Kat Von D I have. I really wanna try the Smashbox, the new liquid lipsticks that I got, but I just haven't gotten my Celtic Coast Sephora yet. And I'm also broke, so can't really do that, but. Okay, and that is the completed look for today. I'm just gonna get dressed.